Hare Krishna. So today I want to talk about a very interesting term called spiritual bypassing. Spiritual bypassing is a term created by John Wellwood and he was a Buddhist teacher and psychotherapist and he introduced this concept in the early 80s. So, um, you know, kudos for him for coming up with this term so long ago. And the idea of spiritual bypassing is when you think that spiritual ideas and practices are sufficient to sidestep or avoid facing unresolved psychological, emotional issues, practical issues in life. Now, I see that a lot because, you know, I've been in the spiritual like community for a quarter of a century now and I've seen this over and over again of course I've practiced this I've, I've you know I can now see that I've I did that in the past as well where you think that okay you know I'm doing like I'm really going for my spiritual life here I'm fine like in my case I'm doing the yoga path other people are doing Buddhist or Christianity or Jewish. oh yeah we're just we're just doing this and so I don't have to do anything else I don't have to deal with my emotions for example people think which is a huge mistake so that's one thing that people that's what the first things that's what he was talking about more it's the first thing that goes people think no I'm, I don't have to deal with my emotional issues because I am a spiritual soul I'm already saved I'm already on the path of being freed so of course I don't have to deal with my emotional issues and of course you do have to deal with the emotional issues because they don't care that you've chosen a spiritual path you know they're still going to be there festering away in your unconscious and you do have to deal with them and even as you're going through your spiritual life your spiritual career you know you're developing your spirituality which is great but you're still going to be facing emotional issues every day you still have to deal with you know with your spouse with with children with your parents with your co-workers with your neighbors with yourself with your past these things are all still there they don't just go away it's not spiritual bypassing no you didn't bypass them they're still there and what you have to do is go through them and you're going to have to look at techniques for dealing with emotions while you're taking care of your spiritual life that's why in this channel which is dedicated to like the whole spiritual path of yoga and i do talk i mean that is my main thing but that's why in this channel there will be videos about how to deal with a breakup and how it's not just to like it's not some cheesy strategy to bring people or anything it's because i really found out and discovered that you do have to deal with these things you do have to have the right techniques to deal with your emotions while you're still progressing your spiritual life because otherwise you won't progress in your spiritual life you actually stop pro progressing spiritually if you don't deal for example with your emotions but another important point for example with spiritual bypassing we saw this a lot with the whole black lives matter movement which is amazing uprising of you know finally you know bringing up this discussion again trying to bring more racial equality to the world trying to reduce inequalities you know fantastically important and we i you know i saw this happening right you know people like spiritually close to me where they would say no we don't have to talk about that because spiritual but you know like just we're all souls what we have to just tell people is just they're all just souls and we're not even this body so why should we talk about black and white and race if we're not even this body this is all maya this is all illusion this is spiritual bypassing too of course you have to talk about these things why because these things actually require real policies they require proper training initiatives to be dealt with in the universities in the in the work you know in in, in companies in police everywhere in government you do actually need to seriously this you can't just say no actually it's all silly because you know it's all we're all souls i'm not black or white which is true it's spiritually true of course there's nobody no such thing as a black soul white soul we're all just souls i mean from the point of view of yoga even the animals and the plants they're all souls but still you have to talk about these things you do actually have to deal with these things and to ignore these things in the name of religiosity or spirituality is spiritual bypassing 
It's a way of not dealing with something that has to be dealt with, thinking that it's going to go away magically, automatically, because you're cultivating your spiritual life. And it won't. Just like your emotions won't go away, and your emotional traumas won't go away just because you're, you know, you're chanting or you're meditating and you're praying. They won't go away. Even if you're a full-time you know, monk, they still won't go away. They're still going to be there bothering you. And so just the same, we have to do with this. So the point is, um, people don't change overnight just because they take the spiritual path. They don't even change over the period of like 10 years or 20 years. You know, they don't just like, okay, now I'm not racist anymore. I've seen this because you can see this in spiritual institutions. You can actually see this even if you look at teachings of like, uh, you know, you know, some great spiritual masters and you can see they're still being racist. And they're like these people who've been practicing their whole lives. They're very advanced spiritually, but still because it was in their culture, because they're brought up, for example, with racism or sexism, they still espouse it. They still have it in them. They're still doing it in a way. They might, you know, they're not, they're not going to be shooting people in the streets, but they still kind of carry that. You know, it doesn't, it's not resolved by the spiritual practice. That's what I mean. And that's why you see by in these teachings of, you know, spiritual masters, of great religious leaders, you see that in spiritual communities, institutions, they're racist as well. And they're sexist. They're like preaching, no, we're not the body, we're not the body. Oh, but you're a woman, so you can't do this. Or no, you know, and they might not even say it, but they're kind of practicing it. It's there because they're not conscious. They're not dealing with it directly. So we all have to be very careful. If you're all like cultivating your spiritual life, it's amazing. It's very good. But don't, but be aware of this spiritual bypassing. Don't think that you can jump over the normal things of life. My spiritual master has this, he says like, you know, no matter how much spirituality you have, you know, the law of gravity still applies. And just the same, he says, the laws of sociology and history still apply. I like that very much. So these laws of how humans behave and interact and how, and, I, and I'd say, of course, the laws of psychology as well, you know, emotion, these things all still apply. As a spiritualist, you're just trying to become a better person. You have to be aware that you, your spirituality will make everything better. It is the end goal of life, but you still have to deal with life. You can't bypass life and go straight to the afterlife, to like your nirvana, to, to Krishna, to wherever you think you're going. You can't. You still have to deal with life. You have to deal with your physical health. I've seen people spiritual bypass their physical health. You see that all the time. They won't exercise. They won't eat well. And I've seen these people spiritual bypass their health to the point of death, to early death, to cancers, to diabetes. People dying young, decades before they should have died because they were spiritually bypassing their health, nutrition. You can die by spiritual bypassing just nutrition. So, no, you have to take care of everything. That's why in the 3T path, like in my channel, in my work, I talk about all these other things. I talk about eating well, uh, sleeping well, and exercising, and taking care of your emotions, and being, you know, like seriously taking, you know, your community seriously, seeing how you can help and be a positive member of your community ecology you have to think of all these things why that's the real practice of spiritual life the real practice of spiritual life is taking all these things all these different dharmas i say you know this we have this term in yoga the dharmas these are all different dharmas so you take all these different dharmas and then that's your offering that's your spiritual practice so it's not like a a disturbance is not a, a distraction from your spiritual life. It is your spiritual life. To take care of your health, of your emotions, of your community, of the world, of the planet, of nature. These things are part of your spiritual life. That's how you practice your spiritual life. So be very careful with spiritual bypassing. Let me know if you've experienced this or if you've seen this. Leave a comment and let me know. Hare Krishna.